Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of self-hosted security by showing you how to install Bitwarden on Ubuntu 22.04. Bitwarden is a fantastic open source password manager and hosting it yourself gives you full control over your data. So, let's get started. First things first, make sure you have a clean installation of Ubuntu 22.04 on your server. You can install on your local server or a VPS that is a virtual private server. Before we begin, let's ensure our system is up to date. Open a terminal and run the following commands. Bitwarden is containerized using Docker, so let's install Docker on our system. Execute the following command to install the prerequisite necessary to add and use a new HTTPS repository, or check the video in the description on how to install Docker. Next, let's proceed by importing the GPG repository key for Docker into your Ubuntu system. This crucial security step ensures the authenticity of the software you are about to install. Following the successful import of the GPG keys, our next step involves adding the official Docker repository to our Ubuntu 22.04 system. By doing so, any updates for the Docker package will be seamlessly integrated into your system's regular updates, ensuring that you stay current with the latest releases. Run the update command to refresh the package list. To install the most recent and up-to-date Docker release on Ubuntu, execute the following command. Check the Docker service status using the following command. You can also use this command to check the status. Next, we need Docker Compose. This tool will help us define and manage multi-container Docker applications. Run this command. Run this command to verify the installation of Docker Compose. Now that we have all the prerequisites installed, we're set to install Bitwarden. Let's kick off the installation process by creating a Bitwarden user and adding it to the Docker group, as we'll be utilizing a Docker container for our Bitwarden installation. Once the user is added, set a strong password for the user. Next is to obtain a Bitwarden installation key, an ID from the official Bitwarden website. Enter your email address and choose the data region, then hit the submit button. I want show my email address here so after you hit the submit button you will get the installation ID and key like the ones shown here. You should not give these to anyone the only reason I'm showing you is because this is a test server and it will be destroyed after I'm done with this video. Save the installation key and ID and proceed with the installation. Switch to the user you created earlier. Enter the password you created for the user. It will download a small file and it will seem like there is no output when you run the command.
give the downloaded file some file permissions. Then you can start the installation process by running this command. Throughout the installation process, you will be prompted to provide certain information. You should enter your domain here. Also add in a record in your DNS. If you do not have a domain and you installing on a VPS you can buy a cheap domain from Namecheap the link is in the video description. If you want to use a free SSL certificate, say yes. The is now where you enter the installation ID and key that you saved earlier on. Upon the completion of the installation, execute the following command to pull the Bitwarden Docker containers and initiate them. Open your web browser and navigate to your server's IP address or domain name. You should see the Bitwarden setup page. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup, including setting up your admin account. Start creating your account from here.
The account has now been created. You can now log in. To unlock all features you have to verify the email address. Without setting up your SMTP settings for your email this will not work. The email will not reach your inbox. To unlock all features you have to verify the email address. Without setting up your SMTP settings for your email this will not work. The email will not reach your inbox. Where it says replace, replace with your own settings. Save the file when you are done changing the settings. Run this command to stop the Bitwarden and then restart it again using the start command. As you can see this time around it has worked, we can now verify the account. Just ignore this warning message if it appears there is nothing dangerous about your own site. The account is now verified and the verify message has gone. You can now install the Bitwarden extension on your browser, even the Bitwarden apps on your mobile phone from Play Store or Apple Store. Log in with your server's details. And there you have it. Bitwarden is now successfully installed and self-hosted on your Ubuntu 22.04 system. 
you can now explore and see how it works. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and happy password managing!